What's up guys, so I'm in between recordings for my Pluralsight course and I thought it's time for a new screencast. Uh, so in this screencast we're going to take a look at uh, pipes in Angular 2. If you are familiar with Angular 1, uh, then filter tra uh, filters translate re directly to pipes. So we're going to take a look at the date, decimal and percent pipes and the asynchronous pipe and then we're going to try to write our own custom pipe as well. Uh, so let's get started. Alright, so I'm gonna be using Visual Studio uh, as my IDE uh, for this screencast. And it's basically the same skeleton as from the previous screencast when I set up the environment in Visual Studio 2015 with the TypeScript. So if you haven't seen that one, give it a, give it a look. Uh, so the only thing I've done, I've updated the, the skeleton to use uh, or the seed project to use uh, Angular Alpha 40, which is the current version at the time of this recording. And I'm gonna run uh, run the browser here side by side, just to be clear. Uh, so this is the example taken from, from Angular IO, which just says, hello, Alice. Uh, so let's do something completely different here. Uh, so we're going to start with a simple one, going to do the date. We're going to set the date just to a new date instance. And then we're going to try to format it. Uh, so one way to, f to use, uh, so, a way, so how you use the pipes is simply by, with the filter sign, the pipe sign, uh, which you're familiar with from Angular 1. So we can tell it that this is a medium date, for instance. We refresh the page. You see we get it's the 12th of, of October, which is correct. Uh, we can also go something like year and then type out the month. So we get October the 12th, October 12th, 2015. And we can, of course, always go uh, like short date uh, and stuff like that. Then we can go short time. So if you guys are interested in this, you can check out the API. Uh, but I think you get the, get the gist of it. All right, so this is date for you. Uh, let's do number and percent. All right, so we're gonna start by introducing two new variables here. We can call it grade, which will be a number, and uh, rating, which will also be a number. And uh, the grade will be a percent from, I'm thinking, uh, from zero to I mean, one will be the will be the max, and so let's say this is ninety nine percent, and then we're gonna say that rating is between zero and ten, but we're gonna have a higher precision here, so we're gonna have a couple of decimals here, so we're gonna see why in a in a second here. And so we'd like if so if you like to format the grade as percent can tell how many fraction digits to use, so we're going to use two digits. Right, so I'm going to need to, of course, so I'm going to need to pass this at a, as a string literal. Right, so we have uh, two, uh, two digits uh, precision uh, at, the, at the fractions. Uh, and now we can also try to pipe rating, but we're going to pass it as a number. Take a look at how we can do this. So. Uh, what we the, the first uh, the first number here will be uh, how many numbers the integer should be. So you can say it should be two two numbers, and uh, so it should be if the, if it's the rating, it should be 06, then uh, minimum fra fraction digits and maximum fraction digits. So I want from one to two uh, digits in the fraction. All right. So I must bracket there. And if this were just, if we just had one as a precision here, we'd get one, but if we have several numbers, 
the fraction uh, we only we only filter it to two uh, so that's basically the percent and number uh, pipes for you so let's take a look at something more interesting like the async pipe right so I noticed here <laughs> should be like that right so let's take a look at the async pipe and uh, bind a promise that will be resolved uh, asynchronously so for this to work we're gonna need to introduce a variable called called promise on our component which will be a promise we're gonna need to pass in an arg here so we can we're gonna resolve a string let's instantiate the promise here and let's make the ID a bit bigger just for now instantiate the promise it's, it's typed one and I have two parameters resolve and reject So like that, and then just set a timeout function. It will resolve in two seconds. Uh, and we're gonna resolve hello world. Right, so uh, like in two seconds, uh, we should see the hello world message from from we refresh. And there we got hello world. So this is really powerful and you can do a lot of cool things with this. So this, this is just a basic demo of uh, how it works. So the async pipe is really cool. Now let's take a look at how we can write our own custom pipe. All right, so let's create our first custom pipe and we're gonna focus on the code a bit here let's make the id bigger and import the pipe uh, custom directive so our pipe will be a really simple one we're gonna give it a name uh, it's gonna be a, a number adder right so we're gonna see why i'm calling that in just a second number adder Right, and of course we're gonna need to pass this as a settings object. And wh where the work happens in a pipe is in a method called transform. We're gonna get the value, and we can we can be we can this should really be any, or we can be specific and give it a type. And we should uh, do some type checking that it really is a number in our function. But for the sake of this demo, we're just gonna. Uh, skip the type checking part and uh, we're gonna take the value that comes in and just add the first argument so you can see how, how we are working with the arguments in a bit uh, so we just have a transform method here and then if we want to use our custom pipe we're gonna need to pass it into our view uh, to our pipes array, pipes, pass in the number adder here, and then let's declare a variable, call it temp, which will be a number, initialize it to 100, and then let's use our custom pipe, pipe. piping to our number adder pipe, and we're gonna add 50 to 100. So if we come over here and refresh our page, we have 150. And this is done using our custom pipe. Uh, so that's a bit about pipes. All right, guys, so that was working with pipes in Anglet 2. Uh, if you guys liked what you saw, please subscribe uh, and give the video, video a thumbs up. 
and uh, I'll see you again in a week or two. Bye.